Unit introduction. In this unit, we're going to make this a damaged cube. Okay, so if you look at the detail here, ooh, amazing, right? Okay, some of this is normal map, some of it is real. So if you look at it, this is normal map right here, but you know, like further from a distance, you can't really tell. Now, the best part. This was all made in Blender. So here it is in Blender. And you can see, just by zooming around, this is what it looks like. This is with just an average hemi light in the scene. The only other program I used was Photoshop for laying out the textures. So I'll show you that process too. So here's the texture map for it. Um, and if you want to see the normal map, because a lot of people like to see the normal map for some reason. I know I do. So here's a very super clean normal map to look at. There's no weird colors, except for these ones that are off the map. But other than that, it's very clean. Also produced in um, Blender. So what I did here is I have a high and low representation of it. So I'm just going to save this real quick. And then open a one before this just to kind of show you how this all works. Okay, so what I did is I'll show you how to sculpt all this in Blender. So here's my sculpt made in Blender. And then what I did, this is like millions and millions of polygons. And this one is not millions of polygons. If I hit um, edit mode, this is all. That's the only thing running it. So good stuff. This is a, a pretty enduring workflow. That's why I chose just a small item like a damaged cube rather than a big, huge character or anything like that because that way it's a doable thing by students. And hopefully in the end we'll have a whole bunch of damaged cubes that we can kind of put next to each other, all variations of. So as you could might tell, the, the assignment is to make a damaged cube also. I hope you like this chapter. It's a really cool workflow. I'm really proud of the fact that I only use Blender for it rather than some expensive application like Maya or 3D Studio Max. And actually, I love it to the point where you know you can go in here and you can paint right on the object too. So I paint some of it in Photoshop and then the, at the end I touch it up in Blender itself uh, using the paint tools. So giving it that cut look around corners and things. In the end, I have a different map, so here's my last map. So it's a little bit darker variation of it. Alright, so I hope you enjoy the workflow, and meet you in the unit.